We've all been turned down for a job, let down at a party, or even broken up with by someone we care about a lot. Everyone has felt the pain of rejection at some point in their lives, and let's be honest, it never feels good. What if I told you that failure is not only a part of life that you can't avoid, but it's also a secret gift that you're just waiting to find? This idea may seem strange or even counterintuitive, but we'll look at it through the lens of Stoicism to see how rejection can change you and lead you to a life of strength, knowledge, and inner peace. Stoicism doesn't mean getting rid of your feelings or not caring about what's going on around you. Instead, it means controlling your responses and knowing the basic rules that govern your life. It gives us a new way to look at things that seem bad and find the hidden opportunities that are there. If you've ever been rejected or are afraid of it, stay with us as we talk about the deep lessons that rejection can teach you from a stoic point of view. This trip might change how you deal with failure and how you interact with the world in general. This video isn't just about how to deal with things. It's also about how to use what seems like a failure to set up something much bigger. So, stay with us as we learn about the secret benefits of being turned down through the lens of Stoicism. How to deal with rejection. When we expect to be rejected, our first reaction is often to feel upset. We may feel hurt, ashamed, or even useless. Even though these feelings are normal, they are often caused by how we see the situation, which can be affected by social standards, ego, and even self-entitlement. Stoicism, an old theory started in Athens around 300 BCE by Zeno of Citium, helps us change how we think about rejection so that we don't see it as a sign of how good we are, but as something neutral that can help us grow and learn more about ourselves. Stoicism tells us that the way we feel when we are rejected is not related to the rejection itself, but to how we think about it. By changing how we see things, we can go from being victims of our circumstances to being in charge of our own emotions. The Stoics would encourage a more logical and measured response, such as asking, what can I learn from this? Or how can this experience contribute to my personal growth? This doesn't mean that people shouldn't feel disappointed or sad. It's just about minimizing the extra pain we cause ourselves through our interpretations. Stoic thinkers, such as Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, and Epictetus, always said that our decisions could either make us worse off or help us get through hard times. They taught us that life itself doesn't matter. What matters is how we think about it. In this situation, Rejection is not a terrible thing that happens. Instead, it's a question mark that makes you think and re-evaluate. If you understand the stoic frame, you can free yourself from the social norms that often control how you feel. It lets us break down the situation, look for secret factors, and figure out what to do next in a way that is both brave and smart. This is more than just putting on a brave face, it's about changing and growing on the inside, which makes us stronger and better able to handle the ups and downs of life. The difference between what we can and cannot control in rejection. One of the most important ideas in Stoicism is the split of power, and it has a lot to do with how we deal with loss. The idea behind this theory tells us that we can control some things, but not others. Realizing this can free us from the extra mental weight that often comes with being turned down. We often feel terrible about things that didn't work out, like a job we didn't get, a relationship that didn't work out, or a chance that we missed. But we forget that many of the things that could have changed the outcome were never in our control to begin with. Stoics would tell us to ask ourselves, what parts of this situation am I able to control? Usually, your actions, efforts, and emotions are things you can control. You have power over how well you prepare for a job interview, how openly you talk to your partner, or how seriously you take advantage of a chance. 
You can't change the employer's choice to hire someone else, the other person's feelings or outside factors that affect how your plans turn out. When you recognize this contrast, you can change your attention from a disappointing result to helpful thought and action for the future. When you're stoic, you can say to yourself, I did my best and that's all I can do. This frees you from the negative loop of blaming yourself and feeling bad about what you did, and you can focus your energy on things you can change. It lets you let go of the things that can't be changed from the past and focus on the possibilities that lie ahead, strengthened by the lessons you've learned. You can train yourself to handle rejection with calm and strength by practicing the dichotomy of control. It makes you realize that you can only control some things and that you need to accept that you can't change other things. Like any other skill, this one needs regular practice to get better, but it will pay off in the long run by making you emotionally strong and wise. So, when you face failure, no matter how big or small, know that you can choose how to react. Figure out what you can change, do it, and let go of the rest. This will help you not only deal with the current situation, but also grow as a person, which will help you face future problems. What the ego does. Being too proud makes the pain of rejection worse. When we are rejected, the amount of mental pain we feel is often directly related to how big our ego is. When someone has a big ego, any kind of rejection can seem like a terrible blow, a hole in their otherwise perfect skin. Stoicism teaches us to keep our ego in check by teaching us to be rationally self-aware and humble. This changes how we deal with failure. Our egos tend to make us think that every contact is about us and that being rejected is a terrible sign of how valuable we are. We start to connect our identity to what other people say about us, seeing acceptance as a sign of strength and rejection as a sign of weakness. But this is where the trap is. More important you think you are, the harder it will be for you to fall when someone rejects you. Stoicism tells us to take a step back and think about these things with a clear head. It makes us think about why we let something outside of us determine our personal value. Is being turned down for a job a sign that you're not fit for any job? Or could it just be that your skills don't match what the company wants? Is the end of a relationship proof that you're not worthy? Or could it be a complicated result of having different beliefs or life paths? Taking away the ego's stake in these scenarios can help make rejection less painful. As a Stoic, we learn to see each failure not as an attack on our worth, but as a fact in the bigger picture of life. Every failure teaches you something, gives you a chance to grow, and points you in a better way. As soon as you stop letting your ego get in the way, you can see failure more clearly and see it as a chance to develop yourself instead of a problem. Rejection is a lot easier to deal with when you take your ego out of the picture. It's not a broad statement about how valuable you are anymore. It's a specific result affected by a huge number of factors, many of which you can't change. If you keep your ego in check, you can handle failure well, learn from it, and move on with a productive and positive attitude. To sum up, Stoicism teaches us that we can lessen the mental damage of rejection and use it as a chance to grow as people if we understand and control our ego. It tells us to be humble about how we see ourselves and open to learning from every event. Rejection as a chance. People naturally want to avoid pain and difficulty, but stoicism, which is always the unusual way of thinking, says that we should do the opposite. It teaches us to see problems like being turned down as chances to grow and get better. When failure comes your way, Stoicism tells you to see it as a part of a life-changing event. Stoicism encourages us to change how we think about the problems we face in life, which is one of its most powerful ideas. If we don't see rejection as a loss, but as a chance to grow, we can start to see the secret benefits that are hiding in these bad situations. 
Stoicism tells us to be grateful for being turned down because it gives us a chance to become stronger, learn more, and get ready for future difficulties. Think about a time when you were turned down for a raise or in a relationship. Instead of feeling sorry for yourself or blaming others, a patient person would ask, what can I learn from this experience? Maybe being turned down for a job shows you what skills you need to work on, or maybe the end of a relationship shows you how you can grow mentally and personally. In both cases, failure shows you where you can improve your skills and grow. One important part of Stoicism is being able to bounce back from hard times. When bad things happen, Stoicism teaches us to get back up with even more resolve. It teaches us that failures are opportunities to make things right. Every time you get turned down, it can be like a phoenix rising from the ashes, making you stronger, smarter, and more capable than before. You are also forced out of your comfort zone when you are rejected, which lets new experiences and chances come into your life, instigating you to go down roads you hadn't thought of before and launching you into a future you hadn't planned for. People often plant the seeds of growth in the ground of being turned down. You just have to be ready to care for them. To sum up, Stoicism helps us see that being rejected is an important part of our path to becoming the best versions of ourselves. We are encouraged to see rejection as a great teacher that can teach us the lessons we need to be strong and grow. If you keep this calm attitude, the feeling of rejection will change from something you feared to something that makes you stronger and sets you on the path to success and happiness. Freedom through not caring. When we feel rejected, our emotions can make it hard to think clearly and make decisions. But Stoicism brings us to the idea of emotional separation, which is not the same thing as hiding your feelings or not caring about other people. One way that Stoicism helps us watch our emotions without giving in to them is by teaching us how to be emotionally detached. This Stoic principle teaches us how to reach a state of mental freedom that is very helpful when we are rejected. Have you ever noticed how rejection can make us think about what ifs and if onlys over and over again? Not only do we get attached to people, but also to results, dreams, and specific paths that we think are the only way to be happy. Stoicism, on the other hand, tells us to mentally separate ourselves from these set places and fight for freedom from these mental chains we put on ourselves. Emotional distance doesn't mean ignoring or denying our feelings. It's about taking a step back and looking at them, realizing that they are temporary and don't make us who we are or define our worth. Being emotionally free in this way makes us less afraid of being turned down. The stakes aren't as high, and we don't get as upset when things don't go our way. When you're emotionally detached, you're free to look at life, chances and relationships with a healthy mind. You learn to enjoy and respect them without relying on them for all of your happiness or sense of self-worth. As a Stoic, you should know what you can control and let the universe do its thing with the rest. The only things you can change are your actions, choices, and reactions. Everything else is an outside force that you can interact with or ignore, depending on your core beliefs. Stoic emotional distance is a way of protecting yourself in a way that no other defense can. You learn how to deal with being turned down without losing your balance, your calm, or your peace of mind. You learn to see the experience as something outside of yourself that you can either use as a chance to grow or throw away as not important to your overall health. It frees you and gives you freedom to deal with the problems and losses that come with life. What being turned down can teach us about love. Stoicism isn't just a theory that focuses on the self. It can also teach us a lot about how people interact with each other. People usually think of rejection as a bad thing, but it can teach you a lot about how to get along with others. Stoics were great at turning things around. They could take something we normally dread and teach us how to learn something very useful from it. 
In this way, rejection is like a school where we can learn more about how to deal with others and figure out why they do the things they do and want the things they want. Say we are turned down for a friend or relationship we thought was important, we might start to doubt its worth. In this case, do your values and life goals not match up? Or could it be that the other person's problems have nothing to do with you? As Stoics, we are told to see interactions through the lens of character and morality. It makes us think, is this relationship helping my moral development and personal growth, or is it getting in the way of it? In this way, rejection can be like a mirror, showing us the kinds of relationships we're drawn to and making us rethink their value based on Stoic principles. Stoicism also helps us be smarter about the relationships we put our time and energy into. We learn how important it is to respect each other and have the same beliefs. Rejection helps us look at the people in our lives with more objectivity, almost like an outsider. It makes us think more deeply about things, like, why did I need approval from this person or group in the first place? Do their values match my own? And sometimes we find that being turned down was actually a good thing because it kept us from getting involved with people whose values are different from our own. Rejection also teaches us to care about others and be humble. The Stoic theory stresses that as reasoning beings, we are all linked and part of the same global city. Unfortunately, being turned down makes us more humble and shows us the weaknesses and fears that all people share. We can become more caring people with this greater humility and understanding, which can help us build deeper, more real relationships. When we look at rejection through the lens of Stoicism, it's not just the end, it's also the beginning of personal growth, making new friends, and learning more about the complicated world of human interactions. There may be some pain at first, but the long-term rewards are greater than the hurt. Time as a gift. Time is one of the most important things we have, according to Stoicism. Marcus Aurelius said, you could end your life right now. Let that decide what you do, say, and think. Time is the wealth of life, and how we spend it shows what we value and what we care about. It's normal to feel like we've lost something important when we're turned down for a job, a relationship, or something else. A recluse, on the other hand, would tell us to see rejection as a gift of time. Every moment we wish for a relationship or situation that doesn't exist is a moment we lose. That time could have been spent on things and people that make our lives better. Stoicism tells us to see rejection as a life lesson that points us in the direction of something or someone better for us to spend our time. Rejection clears out room in our lives so that we can fill it with important activities and connections that really connect with who we are. Imagine the endless possibilities that would open up if we used the time we would have spent avoiding pointless activities on things that really matter. Couldn't we get better at what we do, build stronger relationships, or learn more about ourselves? There is a signal leading us to a road where we can better use our time after each decline. Stoicism also teaches us to live in harmony with nature, which means understanding our own natural abilities and tendencies. Making good use of our time is how we get closer to being who we are meant to be. Every time you get turned down, it brings you one step closer to realizing this. It's a tool for cutting back the tree of life, getting rid of the old dying branches so that new, healthier ones can grow. To sum up this point, keep in mind that rejection is just a short-term event in the grand plan of things. Still, the extra time it gives you could be life-changing. We can change our path in a way that gets us closer to our ideal selves, to more meaningful relationships, and to a life lived in line with our core values, if we choose to see rejection as a gift of time and an opening of new doors. Works outs and methods. Stoicism isn't just about knowing ideas. It's mostly about putting them into practice. 
It would be like knowing how to fly an airplane in theory, but never actually doing it. It wouldn't be worth it, would it? The same is true for Stoicism. Realizing that rejection is a chance or a gift of time is helpful, but how do you go from realizing this to accepting it and then growing? The first is negative imagery, which is a standard Stoic practice. Before going into a setting where you might be rejected, picture the worst thing that could happen. This isn't to make you negative, but to get your mind ready for anything. So if you do get rejected, the fear of it won't stop you as much. Imagining the worst things that could happen can make the real world seem less scary. Journaling is another method that has been backed up by Stoic thinkers, most notably Marcus Aurelius in his Meditations. By writing down your feelings and thoughts about being turned down, you create a safe place to think and gain perspective. This can turn an emotional event into a lesson that can be understood by everyone. By going over your thoughts, you can find illogical views or cognitive errors that make the pain of rejection worse. Don't forget the stern saying, this too shall pass. It's important to remember that being rejected is only temporary. Mindfulness can help with this, even if the feelings that come with it seem to last forever. Being fully present helps you see that most of your pain comes from your thoughts about being rejected, not from the rejection itself. Lastly, join a group of Stoics. To learn the importance of society and sharing knowledge, read Stoicism. Talk to friends who make you feel good and help you remember what you stand for. The logical point of view of a third party can sometimes give you very useful information about what's going on. Stoicism is basically a set of tools for dealing with life's problems, like the fact that you will always be rejected. By using these methods, we not only lessen the mental effect, but we also become smarter and stronger, which makes us better prepared for difficulties in the future. Don't be afraid of being turned down. Instead, see it as another workout for your soul that will make you stronger, smarter, and more in tune with the life you were meant to live. Being turned down is a way to become smarter. Through the view of Stoic philosophy, we've looked at the many ways that rejection can affect a person. We've seen that rejection doesn't have to be the end of the road. It can be an important stop on the way to our better selves. People who follow the Stoics say that life is mostly a set of tests that shape us into the people we are meant to be. That's just one of those tests though. It's not a decision on how valuable we are. It's a chance to learn, grow, come back better and set priorities based on what really counts. It is important to understand that rejection is a normal part of life, just like the sun setting or the seasons changing. Once we know this, we can move forward without fear, but with a sense of readiness. Stoicism helps us deal with loss in a healthy way, so we can even grow after it happens. We learn to focus on the things we can control, get rid of our ego, and become stronger. The experience stops being a problem and starts being a way for us to learn more about ourselves and others in a way that is deeper, more complex, and infinitely useful. As we say goodbye to this part, remember that the next time someone turns you down, it's a chance to grow. The Stoics knew that life isn't about avoiding suffering, but about using it as a ladder to rise higher. So accept it with grace and gratitude. Rejection shouldn't stop you, it should help you move forward. Go forward, keep going up, and remember that every failure and rejection is a chance to learn and grow. Dive even deeper into the wisdom of Stoicism by subscribing to our channel. By joining us as a member, you'll unlock a world of opportunities. Connect with like-minded individuals in our thriving Stoic community, where we support each other on our journeys toward wisdom and resilience. Plus, gain access to exclusive weekly challenges, in-depth discussions, and so much more. Don't miss out on this chance to transform your life through Stoicism. Click that subscribe button and become a member today.